Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Sheila's Magical Jikoni. Thank you so much for keeping it here. Today we will be making pan fried pork or pan seared pork, but I will be boiling it first so that I can get to remove the excess fat that I'll have. Because pork, unless you've not, um, you know the way pork you might get a steak or the arm that where there's not as much fat as the other body parts. Um, the steak part, it looks like a steak, it will be really good, but the ones that, of course, you'll just get some parts with oil, so I'll need to boil it, then dry out the fat, because I don't like fat, I've been getting fat as it is already, so, no, but anyway, um, I'll just um, add a lot of onions, you know I love onions, so yes, there'll be a lot of onions in it, and that's just about it, it will be perfect with any type of um, starch that you'd want to accompany with, with sorry, or vegetables. Um, for today, I'll just um, serve it with a side of salsa, but you can feel free to use ugali, um, chapati, rice, your choice, your preference, your love. It's all up to you. So to my new subscribers, Karibu Nisana, thank you for being here. To my existing subscribers, thank you for tuning in to today's episode. Please don't forget to like this video, comment, to share. And um, for those that have been supporting me, thank you so much. May God continue blessing you guys. So let's get to cooking. So for today's ingredients, we have very, very few ingredients. We have pork here that we will be boiling. I'll be using a kilo for today. We have onions. I used four big onions. I have one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. I have one tablespoon of garlic and ginger paste. Half a teaspoon of black pepper and some salt to taste. I will then top with some fresh coriander and you know guys when making the onions I always love to add the dania stalks so please don't throw them away they give the food a nice flavor and on the side I have already made salsa that we will have our meal with so guys when boiling the meat I'll add some salt to it I added water just enough till where my meat is. We let it boil up till it dries up completely. So the meat is all dried up now. Luckily the part that I got was pretty much um, steak like. It wasn't as fatty so I don't have um, oil to drain out um, so we'll just get to cooking straight but if you have like a lot of oil kindly drain but uh, um, I know a friend that enjoys the fat they'll cook it like that but personally I drain the fat lazima ningeonja kamoja just to confirm if it's soft enough so that we can continue cooking in goes the onions we'll simply just saute them we won't be adding any other vegetable apart from the fresh coriander so um put as much onions as you want i love onions so please if you don't um love onions you can put them go to or to your preference but this this is the ish you should just try this out I then add my dania stalks. This gives um, really good flavor to the food. Like whatever you cook, no matter um, what it is, as long as you're using dania in your food, as you cut up the stalks, please um, put it while you're making your onions. Trust it will. It's the game changer. Um, kwachakulayako. Trust it will make a lot, a whole lot of difference. We still want our onions um, translucent. I'll then add in my garlic and ginger paste. You can omit this if you don't um, like them. 
but a little won't hurt it gives the food um this natural burst of flavors and spices so you'll just mix it in and let it cook for a few minutes literally one or two So it looks pretty good as it is so now we add um, the black pepper to give it a nice kick I love black pepper like the three spices I don't think I can stay without is black pepper garlic and ginger not really um, ginger but garlic and some fresh coriander sorry I'm busy talking I then added a tablespoon of soy sauce I used dark soy sauce but I, I added in a little bit of some light soy sauce and then just mix it all in and let the flavors infuse into your meat and once um let it cook for another two minutes we'll just drizzle some fresh coriander and that's just about it So it is ready and it looks so good and the smell in here is so amazing. I have a side of salsa with me for today but you can have with a piece of ugali that I'm about to make or potatoes but anyway this is a must try. It's so good. It looks amazing. Please guys, please do this recipe. So guys the food is ready. It's about that time when we take in so um for the salsa or kachumbari i added some lime which will give it a perfect cake that will go hand in hand with the pork there's that um kick that you get from the black pepper with the garlic and ginger perfectly with this white meat i hope you love it please don't forget to keep um, sharing my comments subscribing liking um if you try this recipe out kindly share my, um, the pictures with me as well tag me um you can pair it perfectly with any starch of your choice potatoes ugali rice chapati it's your preference but till next time, thank you so much. May God continue blessing you guys. My hair was done by Skola Uno. Check her out on Instagram. I'll tag her on the description box. Till next time, God bless you. Like if you take a small recording of just me slim, looking good. And you can hear and make up via or also by scholar uno. What does it look? Nakapua. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh. oh, fine. <laughs> Lord, with my star here. That's the sun. Karibuni sana leo tunapika pork show.